for it to be a company's trade secret, they have to basically take some steps to mark it as secret and, and keep it secret. Okay. Um, a trade secret only has, uh, your, your real only, only real cause of action with a trade secret if somebody else gets it is if they stole it. So if somebody buys your product and manages to reverse engineer how you did it, not a trade secret anymore. Um, if somebody else independently come, comes up with the same idea, you have no recourse. Mm -hmm. uh, so all you really have in that trade secret is you're, you're, you have to basically show that somebody stole it from you. So like an, it, it tends to get used, you know, employee leaves and you say, well, you know, suddenly all of a sudden this technology has now showed up in the, in the competitor product that they went to. Okay. Um, you may say, hey, guess what? You, you know, you signed this agreement and you know, you're, you're obliged to not uh, share it. Right. And you did. So basically a trade secret, you have to document it. And the only protections are if you can prove that somebody stole it and is using it somewhere else. Right. Okay. So there's a risk, but again, a trade secret doesn't expire. A patent expires. Yeah. Um, and a patent, there, there's that exchange with a patent where uh, I have to file a patent application and I have to effectively describe in sufficient detail what I plan to claim. Now, there's a possibility I don't get the patent, in which case I've just shared everything with the world. Yeah. Uh, in the U.S., you can actually file your patent application with a request not to publish it until it's issued. But that's you can only do that if you're staying in the U.S. only. If you decide you're going to file internationally, you, you can't publish okay. publishing it. It will be published 18 months after the first priority date. 